guys, welcome back to Bait and Tackle. And today, I I just finally realized a day or two ago that I haven't done a video on my favorite swim bait mold. And I'm not talking about an open pore swim bait. I'm talking about a just standard like four inch swim bait, a paddle tail. So my favorite paddle tail mold is this right here. It is by BTS and it is called the 607 swim bait. It is a, I call it a four, but it's a 3.8 inch swim bait paddle tail. It's a lot like a Kai Tech. Um, I have had the do it mold versions of this type of paddle tail, but none compare to the way that this mold is designed. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a little bit of the design. I'm gonna show you on the table over here. Um, I got the new camera mount here that helps me just focus straight down. Hopefully that's working out okay. I may have to get some better lighting for it. But I wanna kinda show you guys what this mold consists of. I actually bought another one and it's on the way here now. Uh, actually will be here today while I'm filming this video. But what I wanted to do is kind of go through this mold, kind of show you, tell you what I really like about it. What are the, the kind of pros, why I, why I really love this bait. It is a little bit more expensive of a mold just because of the design and how it's laid out. And we're just gonna go through it and then we're gonna go ahead and make some paddle tails with it. I'm gonna do a couple dual injections. I wanna do one that's like a, purple orange mix and then I'm gonna do one that's like a half light blue dark blue if I have enough of the color if I have enough of the plastic left uh, these are plastics I already have mixed up I've also got some uh, black and some smoke like smoke gray like translucent with that uh, holographic flake from the last video that I did the swim bait video we're gonna probably shoot that in here as a dual laminate too so we're gonna do a couple different dual laminate colors but I want to show you guys how awesome this mold is and why it's my favorite all right, so hopefully you guys can see this okay. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of break down this mold. I wanna show you how this is. Hopefully you guys have a good view of this. So it comes with a couple screws to hold the mold together, which I fantastically love. And it's just the two holes for the screws. The other ones are just a hole, so I'm assuming for venting. So this is a two-piece mold. This injection, obviously. It's 3.8 inches. It's called the 607 swim bait. When you pull this apart, you'll notice that one end has a solid piece of aluminum. Now, what he did was, if you look at the cross section of this, it's actually three pieces of aluminum. There's this little angled piece here, and I'll show you what that does. So if we take this apart, we look at it. <clears throat> Here's your sprue cavity. Here's all four, and it's a four cavity in, uh, mold. And the tails poured out over here. So this is the flat part of the tail. So if you look at that, the flat part of the tail is there. It goes that way. And then on this section, same again, sprue cavity, there's the four. And I believe this is the top of the bait here on this part with the with the extra piece. And this is the, the bottom part. Now there's where the tails go down. So see, if you can see it when I roll it, see how that how the tail shoots down like that? And then that plate is flat against here. So the tails have a tendency, so when you pull this apart, and you'll see it when I, when I actually do a pour or an injection, um, you'll see them, they'll actually get stuck to this one because they kind of get stuck up in that thing, but you just pull them right out of there and it's perfect. But I swear, I've shot this mold so many times, I don't have to worry about air bubbles, really. I mean, obviously you need to get them out of your plastic before you shoot anyway, but I've never had problems with any voids. The way this is vented is absolutely phenomenal. And it does go into those channels if you saw the holes for the screws and for the the regular holes but they got he's got a lot of channels here for a lot of air to escape but this this mold is a brilliantly designed mold i absolutely love it now not to say that anybody else is not it doesn't have brilliantly designed molds just i just really love the way this is designed and i really love shooting this mold this is probably my favorite mold to shoot and I just, it, it's all self-explanatory. So again, these are not cheap. This mold right here, I think retails for about 350, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on that. Um, so it is a very expensive mold for, for a four cavity injection, but what you get 
is is it's legitimately flawless like this is like one of the it is like my favorite mold it's the best mold that i i like out of my arsenal and i have a lot of molds so let's get to shooting some plastic we have like i said i've got some uh, like pink purple and orange to do we can do these two colors we're going to do these we are do probably do those first <clears throat> and then we also have some i've got some blue pucks like some light blue and some dark blue we can do we can try those it looks like the color tried to fade a little bit into that one but again really cool color combo there and then if if we have enough plastic we'll try and then the other combo that i have is a black straight black and this is like a smoke gray or smoke black with some hollow flake in it. So <clears throat> let's go ahead, get some plastic warmed up, and we'll start shooting some of these and see how we do. We'll do, like I said, we'll do the, the pink and the orange first. I think that that'll be a pretty cool color. Okay, so we had some technical difficulties. I had the audio turned off. I have it on now. We're just gonna fill up the sprue. I'm gonna just go ahead and dub my voice back over so you probably are gonna be fine. Um, again, this sprue, it drinks a lot of plastic. So that's one thing to keep in mind. So whatever cup has more plastic in it, you really wanna stay on top of keeping that full. Did a great job though. Let's open up the blending block. I'll show you guys that. That looks kind of kind of cool. I love these colors. You really can't see it on the camera that well, but the orange has a, a color shift in it, and so does the pink. The pink has like a sparkle color shift in it. Let's see if I can get that. To, there we go. So really nice colors. It's going to be a really cool colorway. I've done this color before, obviously. Um, and it is fantastic. And then I've got some some uh, other baits in mind, like some underspins that I'm going to do after the fact, and we'll put them together at some point. So we're going to go ahead and run this one more time after this. I'm not going to do that on camera. I'm just going to do this once, and uh, then we'll move on to the next color. I'm not sh sure what I was thinking, but I, I definitely want to demold this and show you guys what this looks like. So. This is the 607 swim bait. Now it will tend to stay on the part with the notch, so I'll just go ahead and open it up this way. How's that, guys? Isn't that awesome? I love how the tails stay right there like that. God, even showy. I mean, it just looks so cool. But how about these baits? And what, what I do is I just pull the tails out like this. Just grab, pinch that little little flap there and pull it out. But man, look at those. Fantastic. Love the colorway, the orange and the pink. And again, um, you may get you may get some little missing spots in the ribs. That's not unusual. It's not uncommon. I I see that once in a while. But on these, I don't see any of that. It actually came out really well really really well so very cool I'm gonna make another set of these and uh, <coughs> then we'll move on to the next color all right guys I'm gonna redo this one over again because the audio didn't come out very good on the first one uh, it didn't come out at all actually so I'm gonna go ahead and do these so blending block here top and bottom I labeled it just so then that way I can see what I'm doing and we're gonna go ahead and put the pink in the bottom orange on the top I'm gonna go ahead and draw out my plastic bleed off the injectors I always like to make sure there's no air in there like I said uh, pink on the bottom orange on the top I believe that's what I did and just go ahead and slowly push down. Now the blending block on this dual injector, it doesn't, I'll show you in a second here. I'm gonna get this off, get this plastic bleed back into the cups. So the one thing I wanted to show you was this blending block, it doesn't sit perfectly flat on top of this mold. And sorry, my arm is messing up the, the camera. Um, 
there's less aluminum over here and more aluminum over here. So what it does is it it sets sideways, it sets kind of off kilter, like it sets like like at an angle like that cockeyed. So the one thing that we can do is just go ahead and shoot it like that, and it does and it shoots it perfectly fine. So no issues there. I have thought about taking the block and notching out a little bit more of the plastic, then that way it would sit on there flush. But let me show you the, uh, the blending block. It's always a pretty cool part to look at. And you can't really tell, but these, both of these plastic colorants have a uh, color shift in them, like a little added effect. So let me see if I can get that to zoom in. see that color shift but very cool colors love it came out great so just burn my fingers a little bit but I'm okay I've done way worse just need to be careful always be careful with this plastic it's very hot so um, got this in here the one thing you need to stay on top of which I'm not paying attention is filling up the sprue it needs to stay full. This drinks a lot of plastic down through that sprue cavity is very, very big. So the one thing you need to just be cognizant of is make sure you keep filling that thing up. Don't let it get down too far because it could pull air into the baits. I don't think I've had it actually do that, but just to make sure, keep topping it off. So we got this color done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next color. You will see the video kind of jumped around a little bit because the first time I recorded this one in particular, the audio wasn't working, so I had to go back and um, re-record it. So I just, I, since I was going to shoot it the second time, I was like, well, I'll just redo it now anyway. So you'll see the, you'll see me opening up the first set after this. All right, guys, I've got the second color ready to go. Got my light blue here, like a baby blue, and my darker blue here, it almost looks like a galaxy blue kind of thing. And again, we're gonna do light blue on the bottom, dark blue on the top. Always important too, in between, that you put the, that you make sure you oil your O-rings in your injectors. Just very important to do that. Okay, so we're ready to go. Baby blue on one side, dark blue on the top. Go ahead and inject it. There, there it is. Top off the sprue. Take this off. Put the plastic back. Oh, shot across the table there. Glad it didn't shoot on me. So we'll let that cool down again. Whatever you have more plastic of, in this case, I, the blue has more plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and use that to top off the sprue. And it is pulling it down extremely fast. So I'm just going to sit here and keep, keep an eye on that. Now while we're doing this, like I said, always make sure you oil your O-rings in your injector. It makes it a lot easier. Sometimes you got to do it in between every couple shoot, uh, injections. Sometimes you don't. just depends. I am also um, using the vacuum pot to get the air bubbles. You guys have seen that before. Uh, to get the air out of the plastic. So it's a little bit longer of a process, obviously, in this video because you're heating it, everything up, try to get everything to the same time temperature and you're also getting air bubbles out of the plastic there's there's a lot more to it than just eating up some plastic and shooting so we're gonna go ahead and do this we're gonna open this one up when it's done and we'll show you the color and then we'll move on to the next one all right so I did want to show you the blending block real quick before we move on let that focus in that looks pretty good that's what it's gonna look like just gonna go ahead and put that back in there, put that back in there, and then we'll go ahead and open this guy up so you guys can see what it looks like. Still a little bit warm, but that's okay. Okay, undo my screws here. And there we 
go. Awesome, 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 awesome. So again, just pinch the tails, pull them out. But look at that. There's the baby blue side. There's like the galaxy blue side. So together, what an awesome color. So excited. So I may do one more of these. I'm gonna to try to do one more. I don't know if I have enough plastic. And then we'll move on to the next color. Okay guys, looks like we're ready for the last round. We got black heated up and degassed and we have the uh, smoke with the silver flake degassed ready to go. So here we go. as much black as I was hoping we would. That's okay. Just get the air bubbles out and we're ready to go. I want black in the top. That one's full. I hope I have enough to do the other one. see what this looks like when it's done and then um, we will un we'll open up demold de these and I'll show you all right guys so we have these should be cooled down enough I found some worms in my some black worms in my uh, like box of stuff to melt down, used recycled stuff. So I'm gonna see if that gives me enough black plastic to... Oh man, that's so cool. So awesome. Look at those guys. Look how awesome that looks. Let me pinch them out. I'll show you. So cool. So translucent, but black. It's got the glitter on the bottom, but the, the, the top side is just black. Oh, those are so cool. So we're going to go ahead and see if I can run one more batch. And then I'll show you all the ones we made today. And we'll wrap this up. I did forget to show you this, guys. I just wanted to show you the, the blending block. Black on the right there and the clear. Okay guys, well, this is it. This is what we made. We got eight of these really cool orange and pink with these two color combos. We got these blue, light blue and a dark blue. And we also have this black with the clear bottoms with the silver flake, which came out really good too. So I'm pretty impressed. I love, like I said, I love this mold. I got another one coming, so I'm gonna be able to do eight at a time, which is gonna be fantastic. But dual injecting these, man, they look so, so good. They look so natural when they blend. It just, it's a great, great mold. So shout out to BTS. Okay guys, well that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. I hope you really like that. This is the 607 swim bait. It's a 3.8 inch swim bait from BTS Molds. I love this mold. I really highly suggest if you want to spend some money on a good mold, this is definitely the one to get. So if you're looking to make some kind of a Kai Tech style swim bait, it's around four inches, this is your mold. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your comments 
and all the subscriptions we've gotten lately it's been fantastic let's keep them going I'm getting closer to the 1,000 subscriber giveaway and uh, I, again can't thank you guys enough so remember keep on baiting